Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Essential Worship. This week we're doing a video showing you how to use a poor man's mastering limiter on OBS. Uh, if you watched last week's video, we did a mastering limiter that was built into the Behringer X32. Uh, this week we are doing the video for anyone who's using OBS but not an X32. Um, now I am using an X32 in this video, but I'm not using any of the mastering that's built into it. Um, so this would work for anyone who's using an analog console um, plugged into a, um, uh, an interface, or if you're using an LS9 or an Allen Heath, whatever console you might be using that's not a Behringer or Midas uh, and doesn't have its own built-in limiting, this is going to work for you. So... Uh, so first off, you need to make sure that you're getting your signal into OBS. In my case, I'm going through USB, and you can see down here I've got my USB audio uh, connection on here. If you're using an interface, that's fine too. You just need to make sure that whatever you're feeding into OBS um, with the level all the way up on OBS is not actually um, distorting, not hitting all the way up into the red. Uh, you want to get it somewhere in the yellow here. So you'll need to adjust your levels on your interface or your mixer to get that. And once you've done so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some audio filters in OBS. And this is really easy to do. Um, so I'm gonna go over to my audio mixer, click on this little cog wheel, go to filters. Get to where you can see everything here. And uh, we are going to apply two filters today. So first off, here's my initial audio. If I were to just plug this board in and send my console mix, it would sound like this. It's pretty quiet. I've got pretty conservative levels, as you can see on the screen where my face is. Um, to where we've got plenty of headroom in the live room. Um, but when you're mixing for something online, you're really trying to maximize your headroom and, uh, and really eat up as much of it as possible without sounding distorted. It sounds callous, but that's basically what mastering is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply two plugins in these audio filters. Um, so we're going to go to plus. We're going to first add a gain plugin. Enter plus, and a limiter, Hit enter. So the limiter is what's going to keep us from maxing out what we can digitally send over OBS to YouTube or Facebook or Restream or whatever it is you're using. Um, we want to set a protective headroom on here. So that's what this threshold is doing. So we're going to set that to negative 1. This means that we have 1 dB of headroom in case we overdo it with our gain. Um, it can still protect what are called intersample peaks from uh, distorting out our stream online. Um, now, because the gain plugin is beforehand, what I can do is I can crank up this gain and it's going to push into that limiter. And so zero is the point where we're digitally peaking. We are just below that. Turning the gain plugin up is going to squeeze our audio into that, and um, we're going to get to a point where it's going to start compressing. Now, the bad thing about doing this with OBS is that you don't really have any meters other than the meter we have down here to see how much you're compressing. So you're going to have to use your ears and use your eyes together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the gain up. It's going to be obviously distorting. We're going to be pegging in the red down here. Now, notice it won't be going all the way to the end. Even though it's in the red doesn't mean you're distorting. It's only actually digitally distorting if it goes to the very last red dot, which is going to be just before that. So we're going to crank it up. It's going to be distorting, um, but it's not going to be actually hitting digital distortion. And then we're going to crank it down to where it's not is distorted and compressed sounding, and then kind of maybe a little bit further down from there. So here we go. So if you notice on my meter, I am just below that top red, but it sounds bad, it sounds compressed. So I'm gonna push that back up again, and then we're gonna back it down until it starts to sound like it's got some life back to it. And um, that's probably going to be around negative 
17 or 18 in this case, just from what I saw in the meters earlier. So let's hear that. So as a starting position, I like it at 17 dB. So we are boosting our level 17 dB, which is massive. Uh, but because that limiter is after our gain plugin, it's actually coming out at a max around negative one, maybe peaking a little bit higher than that, but not actually hitting uh, the top zero on our digital meter here. Um, so there you have it. That's a poor man's mastering trick in OBS. Uh, as I mentioned in the X-Ray 2 video, you will find that just because you have this ability, you can obviously overdo it. Like when we went to 30, it didn't sound good. Um, so you're still going to need to use your ears. Um, you will probably find that things like your kick drum and your bass guitar, if they are too bassy coming into this, those are going to start to distort early on. So you might need to adjust what's going through this mix um, to try and get the most out of it. Um, but this is a really, really good way to start, and it's something free that you can use, which is fantastic. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Until next time, have a great week.